Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Copperline Rattler Ranch. I am Julia. So I know videos and videos ago, I had talked about like fluid architecture. It really is a thing I found out. I looked it up and there's actually a type of architecture that's called fluid architecture. Who knew? Anyway, what we're going to do, what we've talked about and decided that we're going to do, you can hear the echo. Um, I am in the bedroom. We're going to go ahead and just go full on with the bedroom. Get this room done so we can get our bedroom furniture in here, be more comfortable, and then full on in the living room. Kind of like what we did with the bathroom. There's still a few little things we need to finish up in the bathroom, but nothing that won't take a little ditzel of time. So we're going to go ahead and go uh, full force on this uh, bedroom, get it done, and then move to the living room. So stay with us. You'll see what we do. Just wanted to address and maybe remind some of our viewers, this is where we put the inline uh, filter that's going to filter or that is filtering our water that goes mainly to the uh, um, tankless water heater and it just descales the water. We left it in the wall instead of putting it outside. It's just the, it's on the west side and I don't want the sun to beat down on it and kill it. So about every three to six months, this will have to be changed. So we left this opening and we're going to put something over that. Um, I want to do something kind of funky. Don's not crazy about that, but that's, I think I'm going to win out on this one. Um, and then that way we can easily remove that panel, change it. You can see the two handles, turn the water flow off, remove the filter, replace the new filter, turn the water back on and replace the uh, panel. We're going to put the panel on there using some magnets so that we don't have to unscrew anything. Um, you know, just pop it on and have a little handle to pop it off with. And that'll make it easy access for this uh, filter change. And as far as this electrical box goes, we're not decided exactly what we're gonna do with that yet either. We can paint it to match the color that we put on the wall or we can get like a little, I don't know if you've seen like those um, fat head clings that you stick on your wall and do some sort of design on that. So we're not sure what we're going to do with that. We may just leave it as is, um, but I know Don would prefer to kind of camouflage it a little bit. It is in the bedroom. Um, it's by the door. So it's a little bit difficult to actually just put a piece of furniture in front of it. So uh, we may do something to kind of hide that or we may not. Any suggestions, let me know. Put them in that comment section below. And once we're caught up on the walls, then I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of either, I'm thinking the leveling compound. This is the one dry pour we did in the, in the bedroom. And it actually turned out far better than the two we did in the living room. But this was the first wet pour we did following the instructions on the bag to the letter wasn't enough water so I do need to add a few a little bit of stuff along this area here to fill in where it was just too dry and uh, probably a few little spots on this one to get it smoothed out before I do the brown paper uh, floor so all along that area so it really won't take a whole lot and then I better decide what I'm going to do with these seams between the slabs that have been exposed like here and I know Red and April on their channel, Off Grid with Red and April, had a product in a caulking gun. So I'm going to try to find that product um, because they were very happy with it. Um, what I've seen happen with Concrete Patch is that the Concrete Patch will actually bleed through. It'll actually bleach that brown paper, and I don't want that. So. Um, I'm not sure if the video I saw, if they actually had sealed everything before they did the brown paper or they just did their patch on the concrete and just went to town. So it could have been that as well. So I uh, will seal everything once all those uh, areas have been addressed um, before I start applying the brown paper bag floor-ish thing. It's been incredibly, incredibly hot. I know not just here, but all over not just the country but the world um, so yeah I shouldn't complain about being hot at least we're not in Phoenix that's just insane 
So what we're going to do is we are going to um, finish this wall. See the foil we put to keep the afternoon sun out. So we still have to do some sanding on this wall. We're gonna go ahead and do the texture. And we're gonna go ahead, since we've got the texture gun out, we'll uh, sand and texture the one wall in the living room that will need it as well at the same time. Then it's gonna be all of our focus on the bedroom. We'll get this wall at least um, primered. I haven't decided on the color yet. Our tiles are supposed to be in in the next day or two for our ceiling, our faux tin tiles. So that should really only take us about a day to get those up in this bedroom. And once that's done, um, I'm of course, while he's doing the wall stuff, I'm gonna be doing the uh, lime wash, a lime wash along the top of the, here, let me show you, on, on this uh, lime plaster that I put all along the upper top of the wall, upper part of the wall. And then while we were doing the drywall, we did do a few nicks on the walls that I'll have to recover. Let me show you one or two here. So like this little nick here. Oh, I'm not doing a very good job of showing you. <clears throat> so like little nicks like this, that here we nicked, we nicked the wall here. And that's just moving the scaffold around, moving the hoist around to try and get the ceiling put up. So those won't take much, those are just little, you know, do a few uh, coats of the lime wash on each of those spots. All right, we've got our walls primed and ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and put paint on before we do anything else to both the living room wall and the bedroom wall. Um, we just have the one accent wall in each room. So we're gonna do a paint reveal. Time for the color reveal for the bedroom.
right, everyone, that's going to be it for this week's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Next time, the ceiling and the floor in the bedroom. So be sure to come back. Probably be about a week and a half, two weeks before that video comes out. So we'll see you next time. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. Comments, questions in the comment section below. Let us know what you think of our colors. We've got a turquoise and a silver. Let us know. Bye.